Okay, so uh, Mr. Longwinded here is finally going to get back to the project that I said I was originally going to do. I implied that I was going to do this particular project for you guys, and I went off and did a 40 minute video on how to make a magazine newsletter. Today is going to be a little different. Try to get three projects done in one fell swoop, all within a single document in Affinity Publisher. Let's go! What's going on everybody? My name is Dave Conry. I'm an artist designer based in Southern California and I have been doing, I've been super, I've, I've been crazy productive this week and I'll tell you what, majority of it has absolutely zero to do with design or art. Actually everything I've been doing this week has all been words. Mostly words. In the last video, I implied that I'm going to be creating a course about how to build a magazine and it's going to cover every single step that I can possibly think of about how to build a magazine from scratch using Affinity Publisher. And as I started to think about it, I was like, oh, wait a minute. If I'm actually going to make a zine or magazine or whatever it is I'm going to make, I actually need to have content in order to put into the zine so that I can teach people how to build a zine. So I basically got to work in my own head and started thinking about like, what do I want to write about? And then I finally figured out what I wanted to write about. And so I just started writing. So I spent the entire week basically basically writing. I've got like something like almost 5,000 words down so far and I've got a couple of extra small stories to write and that should be enough for what we're producing this time around. Basically if you go sign up for my email newsletter and I will be dropping that information to you as I go and I'm thinking that this course is probably going to take till after the first of the year to actually put out because holidays I'm not going to get a ton done during the holidays even though we're not going anywhere it's just it's the holidays maybe after the first year this is going to happen but i'm working pretty diligently to make that happen first things first though i got to get all the art and all the editorial all the words all the pictures everything done everything collected so that i can actually build something so that i can actually create videos about that something so that i can then present it as a course to you anyway but that's not why you're here you're not here for that you're here to figure out how to do three projects in one and what are these particular projects that i'm talking about what three projects would I like to help you make in one single Affinity Publisher document? As you know, I run my own art business and I also do some other things. I have design projects, print on demand, and, I, and I'm, I'm starting a, a secondary clothing line called Tiger Hero. What I've decided that I need to do for 2021 is kind of refresh my brand. And one of the things that I'm doing is creating this collage type of imagery that I'm going to use on all the things that I might send whenever I send out a package here from the house. Whatever comes out of this space that goes out to you needs some branding. And I figure I need brand new branding for 2021. So I'm gonna create a business card. I'm gonna create a universal kind of hang tag-ish thing. I'm also gonna create a postcard that I can use as like a thank you card or just a note card or something that I can send to people at random. And I'm going to build all three of those things in one Affinity Publisher document. I'll get to that in just a second, but not before I say, hey, if you enjoy any of my videos, anything I talk about, if you enjoy my energy, if you don't enjoy my energy, if you do <laughs> like anything about me, I don't care what it is, go ahead and hit the like button down there. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit that bell button because you never want to miss a thing. And if you do enjoy any of this, uh, share it with your homies. Or if you just want them to laugh at me, you know, you can do that too. Okay. Let's jump into the screen. All right, first things first, what you're looking at right here is actually Affinity Photo, not Affinity Publisher. I'm sharing you this because this is the core imagery that I'm going to use across all of these different elements. It says the good life down here. I actually had it originally and it said thank you because I thought I was just gonna make a thank you card, but I thought, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. So I decided to use this other idea, this good life thing. It's just kind of like a, this concept of like, hey, let's start 2021 on a much better note than 2020 has been. Let's have a positive mindset going in. So the good life is where we're at. And you can see up here, it says 2021 kind of reversed out. And it's just a bunch of collage items that I've made over the last year, put them all together, mix them all together. And there you go. It's a thing now, it's a, it's a thing. This means it's a thing. That's gonna be the front of everything and then everything will have a back or maybe a, maybe not a back, but everything's gonna have a front side and then maybe a back side. The biggest document obviously is going to be the postcard here in America, four by six inches is our standard. I'm going to create a new document. I've kind of run through this already so I knew what I was talking about, but here we go. So six by four, 300 DPI, I've got it set up to inches. I've got this set up as preferred length and it doesn't really matter to me so much. I could have it as embedded. Well, I could because I'm not building a multi-page document and I'm not worried about this thing becoming some overweighted document. So I'm not too worried about that, but I'm just traditionally used to doing preferred links. So I'm just gonna link to all my stuff. I'm not gonna have a default master this time. And I'll explain to you why in just a minute. I'm not gonna do facing pages. Essentially, if you look at, if you look at any card, 
that any business card, it's two pages. So I don't really need them to be facing their opposites. We don't need facing pages. Definitely want it to be CMYK. And I have my margins that quarter inch here. If you feel like you want them a little tighter, you can. I wouldn't go too much more narrow than this. And then I have my bleed. I tried to set up my bleed at one quarter or one eighth inch but it won't let me go out to three digits, so it just goes, it, oh, there it goes, it did. An eighth inch bleed all the way around uh, for good measure. As you can see, I don't have a mark, I don't have a master, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a master, and I'm gonna set it up as four by six, just leave it as is, right? So we have it, and then I'm gonna call this, let's see, 2021 postcard. I'm gonna duplicate that, two times. Now in the second one, I'm gonna go here to spread properties. I could go up here to spread setup, but I'm gonna to go to spread properties. That's gonna bring up that same dialogue and I'm gonna change this one to biz card, but I'm also gonna go down here and I'm gonna change the size. Now I want this to be three and a half by two, which is a standard business card size here in the US. I'm gonna ch change this, but I need to unlock this because otherwise it will constrain, it will move it uh, together as a uniform. I don't want that. So I'm gonna unlock that. I'm gonna say 3.5 inches by two, and then I'm gonna click okay. So as you can see, it you know the, everything changed and that's because the size is different. I'm gonna go into this one here, the third one down here, and I'm gonna go spread properties, and I'm gonna change this to hang tag for lack of a better term. Now this one I want it to be square, so I'm gonna change this to, I think I was gonna go three and a half by three and a half everything else is good. So now I've got one master page here that is six inches by four. I've got another one here that is three and a half by two for the business card. And then I've got this last one for the hang tag, which is three and a half by three and a half. Now, as you can see, all of these main pages, my actual design pages are all the same four by six layout. I wish I could change the title of all these things so that you could see which one's which right out of the gate. But you know, that will start to present itself as I, uh, you know, as I kind of, as things move along. I thought you could change the view here, but maybe it's just view. Okay, there we go, medium icons, there we go. Whoa, those are really big. That's medium, I need to see large, it's probably pretty big. What I wanna do is I want to dedicate page one and two to this postcard. They're already set up, but I haven't attributed a, mar a master to them yet. Technically, I don't need the master for that, but let's just say I needed to create multiple postcards and I wanted to all maintain those all throughout this same document. Let's just say I wanted to have every single marketing material that I ever do for my business within this one document. And maybe that's multiple different postcards throughout that time. I'm gonna have this master page here so that I can apply those to all those as much as I want. So I'm just gonna just apply that and by clicking and dragging, I'm taking this one here and I'm dragging it onto that other one. Clicking this one and dragging it onto page two. Now you're not seeing any changes there, but the master has been applied on page three right now. If I click and drag the business card master page, this should change the size. Fingers crossed. Yes, boom. Page four would be the back side of the business card, so I'm going to do the same thing. Yes, go down here to page five, change that to a hang tag. Yes, now you probably do this multiple times, like you can select multiple pages and then apply master to those things. That's another way, like I could do this, let's do that. So I'm clicking on this, I go here, apply master, right? And then I go and find which master I want to apply to. So I go and find the hang tag one and just do this specific page, replace existing and go boom. Now this, it's not really changing anything. Like if I had elements on this page and then I brought in the master page and it had different elements on that page or one master has certain elements and the next master has different elements, well then those elements are gonna get replaced. Unless I just say merge them all together and then it just, it becomes a convoluted mess. That's totally up to you however you wanna work that, but that's just different ways to apply master pages to your document. Essentially, I've got three different pieces of marketing material layouts that I can use within this one single document. Let's go back up here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go File, and I'm gonna go up to Place, which is also Command-Shift-M. I'm going to, where did I put that? I'm bringing in the art, the TIFF here. Again, this image has been saved as CMYK because I'm going to have this printed traditionally at a print shop, and you, that needs to be CMYK. If it's not CMYK, if it's not 300 pixels, uh, resolution, then you're, well, for one, the CMYK is an absolute must, and the and the 300 pixels, you're just, if it's not that, then it's just gonna look, sh 
So that that's that. That's easy. That's all I've got to do here. Now, I'm going to use this exact same art in different ways on the other pieces. I'm going to go grab this picture frame box and I'm going to bring that out here like that. And now I'm going to go command shift M and that way I'm placing the document in here. So I'm going to go find that and I'm going to go like that and it's going to go in there like that and it's going to fit. It fits exactly, but it's not what I want. Double click that middle thing. Um, I'm going to try. There we go. I, not the middle thing. <laughs> It's the other, it's the outside of the middle thing. And I'm just going to raise the size, bring it back up to this size. Now I'm not increasing the size. It's actually been shrunk down because it actually should have fit this size. So uh, my resolution is going to be fine. But what I was trying to do or what I was thinking I would do, bring this in here like this. You can see now it's, let's go ahead and take the Mars off. So now this is what it would look like. And you can see my name there and it does say 2021. And I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it just yet, but I kind of dig it and I kind of maybe. And so <laughs> I, I may dwell on that one for a little bit, but now I'm gonna go back over here and I'm actually, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it onto the first page of the hang tag. I'm gonna change my box size to fit. And I think maybe I will increase the size of the actual art inside there just a little bit to match. Oh, see, that doesn't really go. It's too much. So I'm going to bring it back down. So there we go. So now I have, and I'm going to actually rotate this this way this time. Basically it. Those are the three pages. And now I just need to go in and put the other information. I'm going to universally, I'm just going to put something down here. Let's go back to our tried and true Helvetica. There we go. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit. I'm actually going to change the rest of this. Ah, let's go back to regular. I just want to be a little bit interesting with this, except not that. Let's bring our margins back in to make sure I got this right. Okay, we're good there. That's probably a little bit big. Even for a four by six. On this postcard, if I wanted to, I could create that little line that you're supposed to put for postcards so that you separate between uh, the, you know, the, the, the where you put the addresses versus where you put the note. Let's try this again. This will create a little line. There we go. Stroke that out. I've got a little line there. And I, now I can put this line in here if I wanted to create that idea of a traditional postcard so that people know, okay, they this is the one side, this is where your message goes and this is where the address goes. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know, maybe I will. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. We'll get to the, I will think about that, I'll ponder on that. I could always make two if I wanted to. The real main goal of this is to keep this as something that I can just write notes on and send that to whoever buys something. The same thing could be said for this. I could do that same thing here, create a little note down here and write that in, and, you know, so this could be, um, uh, maybe I'll keep it like that just for our purposes. I'm going to copy this because I want this to be the same here and I want it to be the same here, but obviously not in those particular positions. Bring it there like that. Now, one thing I am missing that I need to get in here, not that one, that one. Yeah, we'll do that one. I'm going to bring that in just like that. Maybe I'll reduce the size, but uh, it's probably, it probably is a bit much. And bring that here. Put that up there in the corner. And again, I'm I'm just kind of banging this out. Actually, let's go back and copy that other one. Put that here. And I'll redo take that one out and go to put it here. So now it's essentially super consistent all the way across these. Let's say I wanted to output each one of these as their own separate document. I could go, let's say, uh, export, export. I'm gonna switch this out as a PDF and I'm going to, I don't wanna do all pages. So we'll go one to two and export. Twenty twenty one. And then it just, I, I have it set up so that it automatically brings up my PDF. So there you go, that's my, that is that. If I wanna go back over here and do the same thing. Oh, 
I was pressing the wrong letter. Export, <laughs> but this time it's three to four. Export, use that to biz card. So there's the biz card next to the postcard. And then of course, one more time, go uh, five to six, export, call it hang tag. And there you go. So now I have all three documents. I can send all of these to my printer as is. And uh, yeah, so there we go. That's pretty much it. That's three marketing pieces of material in one Affinity Publisher document. That way you keep everything really nice and tight in the same place. And you don't have to worry about where, where did I put that file versus this file? Here's a hot tip. Let's just say that I wanted to apply, again, all of these elements, the logo, the information, and this line to every single postcard that I make from this point forward, at least for 2021. I'm gonna select all those, I'm gonna go Command C and copy them, and then I'm gonna go back up here to my master page, and then I'm gonna go like this. And here's the thing, if I go into this document, you're gonna see it there. It's there. It's there because I placed it there. So those elements are back there, and maybe you don't want them there, maybe you just wanna have it completely blank, so then maybe what I would do is I would go and I would duplicate my postcard layout here. Let's say duplicate, and then this one up top, I would say I'm not gonna have anything in it. And so that's postcard. Let's go uh, spread properties. We'll go postcard A. Nope. That's A. Okay. Delete that. Delete that. This one would be obviously. Nope. Postcard B, right? That one has the lettering and the logo and all that. This one doesn't. Go back to my document. See, this one now does not, right? So now I can go and put my art back where it belongs. My art's back where it belongs. And then if I, this one is already applied to it, the information, in fact, I had that stuff there and I'm going to apply that one there and there we go play with master pages to your heart's content mess it all up change it all up the beauty of this is that everything is in one place and so that when you go and make systematic changes across all your branding or all the things that you happen to have in one particular document you know what it is and you don't have to worry about oh, is it in that file is it in this file where is it over here got three items in one document you can have as many items in that same document as you want uh you know don't go too crazy because eventually it's going to get a <laughs> to be a really heavy document hope you enjoyed that if you have any questions about anything i do make sure you go down to the comments and ask them post them there share your thoughts tell me what you've been thinking tell me what I missed uh, I'm totally open to whatever you have to share also if there's any particular kind of project that I haven't covered yet which is a, a myriad of those but if there's a project I haven't covered yet that you want me to go deeper into uh, hit me up in the comments as well while you're headed down there make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe so you you know subscribe and then you hit the bell button you never miss a thing and if you like this video share it with all the people you love who would also appreciate what we're doing here or just want to be entertained by the clown on the other side of the camera then folks i hope you enjoyed this 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 new video on the beginning of the week i'm actually going to attempt to do two videos a week now what am I thinking? I'm gonna be doing two videos a week and some of them are gonna be a little bit more concise. I don't know how concise this actually is gonna turn out to be, but some of them are gonna be a little bit more concise. Okay, that's it. Uh, I'm out. I hope you appreciate this. Remember folks, be good today, be even better tomorrow. Oh wait, if you are, don't forget, if you wanna get in, get some information on that course, that magazine course that I am creating, get in on the list now. There will be a special thing for people who have been on the list first. They're gonna get a special thing for the thing. So uh, go ahead and on my website to sign up for the newsletter so that I can inform you when it comes out. Uh, link in the description down below. Uh, be good today, be better tomorrow. See ya!